Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn step by step from scratch about environments in Postman. We are going to see what is environment, why do we need environments, how do we create environment in Postman, how do we use the environment variables and how do we delete environment. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. So let's get started. And in Postman, uh, we have environment which is basically a set of key value pairs. And why do we need environments? So let us see, this is our postman and let me give you a common scenario. So whenever we do our testing, uh, we have different requests and in the request we have different values. For example, we can have values like URL, uh, email, password and maybe some other values. Now some of these values change with environment. So we may have to run our tests on different environments, let's say a QA environment, a regression environment, a sandbox or a pre-prod and UAT and so on. So we can have different environments where we want to run our tests and with every environment some values in our request may change. For example the URLs may change, the emails or password if we have in the in the request that may change. Now if we have hard-coded these values in our API requests we will have to go and change it every time we change the environment or every time we want to run it on a different environment. Let us see a demo. I'm going to my postman. I have opened my postman on the browser. You can continue on a browser or you can use it on your desktop. And I'm on my workspace and this is the, these are the APIs I have already created. So here, let us say I will add a new API request. I'm going to reqres.in this website reqres.in here we have some demo APIs that I can use and here uh, I'm going to take this register user this API which is a post request and here this is the URL you can click on this URL to get the complete URL or the complete endpoint along with the response and here, this is the body of the request and this is how we should get the response. So let us try to create a request for this. I will copy the endpoint or the URL of this API and go to my postman and I will click on this plus button to create a new request. And here I will say the method is post and this is the URL and I will directly go to the body section. I will click on draw and copy this body data and paste it here and here I will say this is JSON so we have email and password this is the URL uh, there are some auto generated headers as well so you can see these are the auto generated headers I'm not adding any other headers we don't need any authorization so this is my request I will save and I'll just save in my demo APIs collection and I will call this as register user and save. Now I will go back to my register user API and run the request. I'll click on send and let us see the output. So this is sending my request and here, yes, we have got the response so we have got ID and token as expected here so this is how we get the response and it took uh, it took 1892 milliseconds it's 200 okay and you can see all these size and everything so this is working fine now let's say if uh, this these values that is the URL and these values of email and password these works on the specific environment where we have created this API request. Now I want to change the environment or I want to run the same request on a different environment. In that case, if the URL has a different value, if the uh, these values, email and password have a different value in that environment, we will again have to go here manually, change it and run it again and then again change it back to the original values and this is very uh, manual process, time consuming, error prone and it cannot be scaled if we do it like this in a manual way. So to handle this we have the concept of environments and 
uh, step number one we have already done we have created our API request now let us create an environment and add the key value pairs or the variables as required so all the values in your tests or API requests that you believe can change with environment you can create variables for all these values in the environments so here you can see this is a drop down and it says no environment and as of now we do not have any environment I'll click on this eye icon and it will show me this environment which does not show any environment which is created so I will click on this add button here and here I can now give the name to the environment I can say QA and now I can add the variable so I will say I'll add URL variable email and let us say password so all the values that you believe can change with environment you can create variables for all such values now uh, I'll give the values here so let us say the value this is the endpoint so I'll just copy this endpoint API register this is the endpoint which can change with environment so this I will put in the URL or let us say endpoint uh, which is better endpoint and email I will give this value and I'll copy it from here paste it here and this is the password so I have created these values now uh, I have discussed this earlier we have two columns here current value and initial value current value is what will be used when you send the request and if you share this collection with anybody in your team uh, these values will not get shared but if you want these values to get shared and persist you can click on persist all and they will also be available in the initial values as well so you can see here it says this value is shared with your team when you share the variable in a collection environment or globals so if you want to do if you do not want to share some uh, values which are maybe some private values you can keep it in the current value and do not give it in the initial value or can give a different value here that you want to share and if you want to have the same values both the places you can just click on persist all so this is done I will save make sure that you save the environment and now we have to refer these variables in our request so I will go back to my request which is register user and here in place of uh, API so here if I see the environment this is the API register this endpoint is here so I can just refer it here after this req res dot in I will say double curly brackets and make sure that you save the request as well so that you can see the environments so here uh, it is still not showing me the environment variables and that is because I have not yet selected the environment let me select the environment from this environment drop down and now if I see I can see the environment variables which is endpoint here you can also hover over this and you can see the values as well so this is what I will be using here so this is the syntax we use double curly brackets and give the value of the variable like this okay I can also give a forward slash here and remove the forward slash from this value which looks better so I'll just say remove it from here and here as well and whenever you make any changes make sure that you save and now so here I will I have I am referring the endpoint and then here we will be referring the email from the environment variable so here within the course I will give double curly brackets and I will say email you can see it is showing me auto suggestion for the variable just in case you do not see auto suggestion or auto completion you can go to the settings here and make sure that your variable auto complete is on and similarly for password I will say password and I will save the request and run it to check if it is able to refer the variables from the environment make sure that the environment is selected in this drop down here and yes it is able to show me the response that means it is working fine and we are able to refer the values from the environment variables now 
uh, we have already done step number four we have selected the environment and we have executed the request now i can create more environments as required so let's say i have to run this request on a different environment as well and let us say we have a regression environment so i will go here to this environment qa and click on these three dots and i will say duplicate and this will create a duplicate environment and here i will name it let us say regression or reg and here again i can update the values for the regression environment so let us say the url will be different for the regression environment the email the password so i can just make all these changes here and whatever values are there for that environment you can change it here and save and then go back to your api request change the environment from here so now you can see we have got two environments here we have QA and regression I will select regression now so now all the values will be referred from the regression environment so I will save and run the test again and you can see now it is again working fine and just to make sure just to uh, uh, check that it is able to refer the values from the regression environment I will go back to the regression environment and let us say I'll make some changes here I will say environment dot rec so this is an invalid value i believe this will fail so i'm just doing this to make sure that it is able to refer the values from this regression environment so i will save and run again and let us see and yes you can see it says only defined user succeed registration and because we have changed the value in the regression environment it is not working but if i change it back to qa and run the request so this time it should work because the QA environment has all the valid values. So this is working fine and this is how we can use environments in Postman. I hope this was very useful for you. Please do some hands on and let me know if you face any issues. I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.